Okay, good evening, guys. I think that now you can hear me, right? Roger that. Okay, welcome to this. I'm gonna just appreciate if everybody mutes its mics so I don't have to mute it here directly. And let's start, okay. Uh, to begin with, uh, uh, this was, was a surprise, eh? Moderna admitted to the SMPs. I had no clue, but hope you, you kept someone at least. Uh, those 270 calls are going to be epic. Okay, so the topic for today, guys, is uh, what I do in... Uh, we're gonna have a Q and A sessions a little bit later. So if you have any other thing that you would like to discuss, don't you worry. You'll have time to 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 question anything that you you might need. But uh, the idea is how do I prepare overnight, and uh, how do I know what tickers are hot during the day? And I think that that is also a very a, a very important part of uh, of the trading career. Not only not only risk management, of course, that is the foundation. But of course, uh, you are what you trade. No, at the end of the day. So, to begin with, uh, the most important part uh, that I that I rely on during the day trading is uh, that you have to be already prepared in terms of having your alert set. Uh, there are a lot of tickets, a lot of action during the day, and it's impossible to stay on, on everyone. But at least uh, you have to have your, your common watch list in the different sectors that are uh, that we have, and as you can see, is sometimes we we trade some uh, unknown tickers, but most of the time we we stick more or less with the same, right? So that is also uh, important for you to get familiar with some tickets, so you know how they behave. Usually, most of the underlines uh, and this the story that you see in their graphs repeat itself in the future. So it's also good to, to get acquainted with some tickers uh, and, and, and you know how they react when, when certain patterns are formed in, in, in the day or, or certain amounts of volume are accumulated during the day. You know what happens so because of the experience that you have had in the past. And that all, the only way to learn that is, is with time, right? Time and, and consistency. But uh, what I do, I have different uh, sources during where, where I, I prepare my, my alerts. Uh, as you all know, uh, I have uh, my main, and I'm gonna put it, tell me if you can see here, that the graph that we already know. Can, so what I do is I, I have my same, uh, you can see my TOS graph, right? With my three frame time frames, correct? Just, just somebody just confirmed to me in the chat. So I know that you're seeing the same thing that I'm watching. No? No, okay, the UTF side. Okay, so I'm gonna switch. Okay, I'll, uh, anyway, you know my, my graph, but uh, let me go to, to details. What I do first, you have to create a, 
uh, a set of uh, watch lists. So to begin with, guys, it's very important for you to have, and let me put it here so I can probably share it in the double screen here. I'm gonna change this so we can have what you have seen and, and the other part that I have here, okay? <clears throat> so now you can see both, right? And the idea is to have a, 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 a watch list already prepared. So to begin with, it's very important for you uh, to have a main watch list of the different sectors and industries. Uh, and for that, as an example, I can I can tell you that I have a main watch list that is called uh, sector CTFs, where I do I I have the main uh, ETF that groups several uh, sectors. For example, I have the XLF the XLI, XLE, all the different sectors that are, that are compound the S&P 500. And once I have that uh, specific uh, uh, list, let me see what I can just, ah, okay, my TOS went, went crazy. Let me just detach, okay. So I have, can you see here this watch list? And what I have here in my watch list is, for example, my ETFs. Where is it? Personal, can I? I'm blind today. Oh, it's been a lot of. Watch floats, goods rights. Okay, sector ETFs. So here they are. Sorry, guys. So what I have here, and I suggest you you can you can see them right now. You can see both the watch list and and the. And what I use this page for, uh, you can go to etf.com because this helps you a lot to know what is everything about. For example, XLU. If you go to LX, XLU, which is the utilities, here is the utilities sector. You look here and you can see all, all the, uh, tickers that compound this ETF. But the most important part is that you look for the 10, the top 10 holdings. You can see them all here, of course, but you just need the first 10 because usually the first 10 are 50 or 50 plus percent of, of the ETF. So in this case, in the XLU, if you have these 10 tickers, you already have the wage in the 63.5% of the ticker. So, so you have with those 10, and usually those first 10s are, are the ones who are more, uh, have more volume and are more liquid and all of them have options. So, so what I do, for example, uh, I go also and create a new, and we can do it here, a new watch list that I'm gonna call uh, utilities, XLU. And what I start doing is, okay, next it's NAE, NE, sorry. And you put the first 10 of them. So you already have Duke Energy, uh, 
Southern Company in. And if you don't know the ticker, you can go here and, and see it and it tells you what the, the ticker is. You go back. So this uh, ETF.com site is super helpful to know all the ETFs uh, of the S&P 500. And uh, what uh, we're gonna do this very quick so we can have an example of how I do it. Actually, this one, I don't have it because as you know, we don't trade a lot of utilities, but now are gonna be interesting because every time that the market panics, utilities is the defensive sector. So when utilities are bought is because people are moving from technology and other more aggressive sectors to utility scenes. They don't move much. They have, uh, they don't move much, but they have very good dividends. And that is the interesting thing about uh, this, uh, these stocks of utilities. So they provide good dividends quarterly. And that's what people go to as a defensive uh, strategy when the markets start to, uh, eventually when everything goes to hell, I mean, nobody gets, nobody gets saved, right? Even utilities go, go down, but uh, you start to see, for example, utilities today were one of the sectors that were, was the highest of the day, the more active one. And it's because all the flows and the and the and the big monies are starting to to rotate to to that. So I'm gonna finish very quick this. So I don't wanna do it. I'm gonna do it this one by one so you can see how do I do it. But uh, you have to do your homework in doing all this that I'm doing here with each sector or every industry that you're interested in that you like to trade. And I'll give you all some examples, the, the ones that I have right now, but right now that I'm working here with you, since I didn't have this one, because we were not very active using it, but probably we might need it in the next days. So I have them here, the first, so I have my utilities. So I already have my two, my two watch lists here. Where is the other one? By the way, here's the other one. And this one is gonna continue being the ETFs. Well, where is it? ETF, sector ETFs. No, personal sector ETFs. Okay, so for so during the day, what you do is, okay, you organize all your ETFs or your sectors from the high to the low. And the, the top three that are higher are the ones who are uh, most active or doing the, or, or growing the most during the day. So always what you have to trade is what it's, what it's hot during the day, right? So in this case, for example, XLU, we see that is uh, one of the two that is, has the highest percentage of the, of the movement during the day. You already know, and you already have your sub list of S XLU, you do the same. And then you go to an individual ticket. Okay, let's see. And you and you just look for it. I mean, it's I don't know what I, I don't know why my toes is so stupid today, but uh, it's not looking but one anyway. So I have link. I link my 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 watch list to my graph, and I can do and I can go very quickly. Imagine that you can see the graphs here, but I don't know what is happening with my TOS today. But with this, you can go very quickly and I can see, I link, 
I link the graph, I link an option chain, and you can do quickly and see at the same time, you are seeing your watch list, what is hot. Then you see the, the graph to see if it has a pattern that uh, is interesting to, to go trade it and, and, and look for your levels. And then you can determine what strike and expiration you're gonna take. So you have all these three on one screen. That is very important. And you, the idea is to be most of the day just looking for, for opportunities when the market is not very active or when you're not really sure what you can wanna, wanna trade, it's a good way to, to, to find some of the tickers, right? So that is one, one way that I do it. There are many, of course, uh, for example, today, and, and you can see I have uh, the XLU, the chi Chinese, the, the gold, silver, uh, financials, uh, the EM that are the, all the, most of them are Chinese, but uh, there are, <clears throat> how they call it, all the foreign companies, uh, IBB, which is micro technology, I mean, biotechnology, XLI, XLB, XME, Jets, here you have all the airlines. So feel free to, I'll, I can copy this and uh, I'm gonna copy this and share it with you in the, in the VIP room. So you can see the main sectors that I have and the subs, some of the subsectors. And I have, for example, of the semiconductors. So for each of these, you have to do a list based on your, and you can help yourself with, with this one. So you look for each of them and, and see, for example, if you don't know what KRE is, okay. So these are the regional banks, right? All the, all the small financials that are within the, you go here to the etf.com and in a screener is where you look for it. So for example, KRE is all the regional banks, right? XLU, you already know the, for example, I don't know, emerging markets, what other you might not be acquainted with. Uh, for example, this one, WCLD it's, it's all the application software companies. So you can, again, look for them and, and you can see what is, you have your sub list of Box, Dropbox, Adobe, Domo, so all the ones that we already know, right? Uh, I use Webull, but Gestio is better. No, but you can do the same on 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 Webull. I mean, I I do have a small account on Webull. I know how to use that uh, application, and and it also has very. I like actually the the application is very nice. So you can have very nice uh, watch. The important thing is that you have some watch lists available during the day, and your main watch list is gonna be your sectors because you're gonna have open all of them. You're just gonna go and see which three are the highest in percentage base or the lowest, depending on how the market is doing. You can include here, of course, uh, SPY, Qs, and, and the Russell. I don't have it here, but uh, you can do it. And you can also include uh, a watch list of the 10, 10 main stocks of the SPY, the Russell, and the Q, uh, QQQs, so you can trade them as well. So this is a, a good way to find, another good way to find during the day, you can take this FinVis, uh, most of you are familiar with it. And if you wanna locate immediately, it has this application here in the home, this is free. I don't even have the subscription, is this the free part? You're gonna have, have a lot of advertisement, of course, because not, there's no free lunch. But you have here the heat map that is very good because you can easily see. Okay, to that, for example, today that I was just watching 
and 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 I brought a UNA because I went here to the healthcare. Oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry, but it, for the fucking. Uh, and then, for example, UNH. You go to look. It's it, it it give you a nice summary here. I mean, you already have healthcare, and you have already in order the all the not in order, but you can see which one is hot. In this case, UNH and HUM, and then you can look and and look at it and see. But you very quickly can see which sector is is green or red or. So this is a very nice tool that you can have it. It's free as well. And, and very quickly you can, you can go check it. And even though if you wanna go and see directly the, the grafters, you can see them as well. And also it has a very nice screener. For example, I have this one to look for the, the high interest, for example, FUV that we play today you can do whatever you, I mean, you just, this is a screener that I made for the chart interest that is price under $20. The float has to be over 20%, have to be optionable over 1 million under 50 million float and brings you the list that you have. So you, what you look for is, is the highest that has the, the percentage of uh, short interest and also the ratio is very important. This short ratio is how many days are gonna take for the shorts to cover the, in case of a, 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 a short gamma squeeze, all right? So what you're looking for is a short ratio of five or more. So those are the ones that are interested. The, the first one is the, the float. So you look for the higher, but over five ratios So this one. FUV, you can see it. And so that's a good way also to, to, to see, uh, and you can do what, I mean, this screener is fantastic and you can put whatever you want here. And it's very easy to, to filter and everything. So FinVis is an excellent tool that you can use. I suggest you to do that. Okay, so once that I, Another, of course, guys, Twitter, right? Twitter, I have my favorite people who I follow. I don't, uh, I don't even sometimes have to, to find the holy grail. A lot of people, what I do is I go to Twitter and I look what are they saying and Neo, Amazon, Chop. Okay, so what I do, very simple. Neo, okay, for tomorrow, Neo. And what I do is, is I just go and put an alert on the, as you can see, I love to play uh, previous day high breaks. So what I just do is this, I go to Neo, I know that, that, that it has some chatter on Twitter, right? So uh, what I just do is take here, look for the high of the day and set an alert for tomorrow right or for whatever it triggers i put it on the ask to notify me with a ring i know what there is a ring i have an alert and then you have a chop for example and then i do the same so also i use a lot of twitter of what what is what is making noise and twitter and a activation so and that's the way and and i do this every night and i make sure that at least i have I don't know how many tickets. So at the end of the day, if you see charts, hold on. I have here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge you this. At the end of the day, if you do that every night, uh, after 10, 15 days, you're gonna end up having, I don't know how many alerts set because not, not all of them are gonna trigger the next day. And you already have an inventory of alerts that are, that are, that are gonna be available to you. And when they trigger, you just look at the graph very quick. You already have your levels and everything and, and you determine what, what to take. 
So any questions so far from here? I don't know if, if I've been clear. Questions? Anyone to follow on Twitter? Oof, yes. My favorite one and one of, of the people, I mean, also Theotrade, of course, I follow Theotrade, but I, I follow it because I'm a member and I love it and it's one of my, mal they don't give you a lot of tickers, but uh, they have a very nice, and I share it on my Twitter every night, most of every night, uh, they have an, a very nice uh, reports every day. But uh, it's very simple. Let me just put this here. This is the people that I, Rifter, that everybody knows. I, I have Rifter, but I don't really, um, I don't follow a lot of his plays, but he's a smart guy. I mean, he, but because he plays a lot of small and he plays a lot of stocks and not too many options sometimes. Uh, I'll answer you what got my attention. Uh, what else uh, I use? I mean, Sam Carson, um, we already have it. Spartan. This is one of my favorites. I, I, I am a member, I'm not at this time, but I'm, I'm, I'm used to be a member of this community. Uh, they, uh, I, I have taken a lot of courses from him. He is a, is a beast. He's one of the best intraday traders that I that I met. Uh, he's very very good. So this one is 100% recommendable. Stock Hunter. I also was part of this community. This guy is uh, is also very good. Stock Hunter 89. This guy is very good. Uh, another one that is super cool to follow is, let me see, Limitless Trading. He has sometimes nice, nice charts. This one is fantastic. I used to have this application, but it's expensive. It's like a hundred and ninety dollars, and it grabbed you all the of the algos, the the flow. This is fantastic official flow trade, but they have very nice uh, comments uh, the day before. Chica, of course, but we already you already know it. Uh, what else? What else I have here? Unusual whales, you already have it. This guy is very good, this guy. Panda options also gives you very nice uh, tickers every night. This guy is also very smart. Young guy, very, very smart. David Jokum. What other? Uh, this one is a prick, I don't like him. Uh, uh, this one also stock chart art is a good one. So I have plenty, but I, I, I usually Spartan is for me if my top three Spartan stock hunter, and this one, and this is my third one elite option trader. Those are my top three. What uh, I found about uh, in. Uh, Coming back to to your question about Nvidia, I also have this indicator here that oh, Jesus Christ, where is it? Let me, let me bring this chart here. Where is it? Oh, I forget about it. Where is it? Mm -mm. 
I show you this indicator that I use a lot. Let me detach it. That shows you when when some stocks are starting to get here. This indicator is very good. The volume sum oscillator, when this one comes down below zero and the ADX, ADX, uh, what uh, the ADX indicator also, what it measures is the trend over 30. It's that it has a strong trend that is not choppy. Uh, but this one would tell you that is changing momentum when, when stocks are crossing the zero line on, on this oscillator, volume sum oscillator, is that uh, institutionals are starting, stop starting to buy this, this stock. So for the first, and I also have the EMA, the 50 EMA on the daily. And as you see, I saw a divergence here, price spiking and momentum declining. This is a divergence when you have this type of divergence. The thing is that you really have to catch because you start having the divergence here. So you just wait for the zero line to be crossed, which was today. And we cut this one. So that was the one, one, and of course, I mean, uh, we've been following NVIDIA all these days and, and we, we saw this, right? So eventually it got very extended at the same time on the, on the daily. So if you see it here, NVIDIA, it was already, It was not extended today, but it started to, you know, if you see on the daily, what it happened is that uh, finally uh, today it crossed on my daily uh, yesterday, it, it uh, closed below the 13 EMA. So the trend changed immediately. So the same thing that we do intraday guys with the 10 minute, you also have to follow uh, after hours, what I in after hours I focus more on the on the daily and the hourly. I don't see the ten minute because I'm not interested training. So I saw this one as uh, uh, as well. That thirteen EMA close and broke. When I play previous day high breakout, it doesn't have to be from yesterday. It can be like a week. <laughs> There are, how can I tell you? No, the answer is no. Uh, previous days are strongest. And of course the more, uh, because previous day is when, when you are breaking the range from the previous day. Sometimes you have, what you can do is also uh, another very good uh, break is the weekly. You also can have the levels. I don't use it much, but you can see also where the weekly can previous weekly candle is, and when it breaks weekly, is even the 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 higher the time frame, the stronger the resistance and supports are, guys. So a weekly break is gonna be, and what I mean with the stronger, that is gonna be more difficult to break, or or and it's gonna be strong to hold. When, but when, when you break a weekly uh, level, the continuation is gonna last longer than a daily, than an hour, and than a 10 minute, right? A weekly break lasts weeks. A daily break lasts days. A hourly break lasts sometimes hours. The 10 minute break, last 20, 30, 40, one hour. So everything and so on. So that is the importance of, of the different time frames at the breaks that you play. I don't know if it, that makes sense. Is what I saw in the, yes, the, the spy is the same, for example, I'm always following, if you see, uh, you, you have me seen me a lot, the four hours, 
and the daily on, on, on my SMPs. But if we go to the weekly, what do we have here? And let's do it. Of course, this is this week, but this, this level here is the weeklies, right? So when we break 4278 and God knows what is gonna happen, but anyway, this week, this uh, this is the close and 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 the low is not the low and the high of the week, but it's also the range when when last week all the everything closed and open right. So when we break this one, and that's what I have this line here. Remember that I told you if this square is more re this square was more related to to the range that we have had the previous two weeks. But yes, this is what you see, and of course. Also, what I what I tend to look at it in overnight is the MACD and the RSI. I do I do take care of those indicators, but only overnight. So, what I'm starting to see here in in the four hours on the S and P's, so you can see a divergence already making. Here was a divergence. I mean, we have a high and a higher high with lower high on the RSI. So that it start to determine some various divergence. Uh, the MACD already crossed since one o'clock May 13, cross down. It's about to cross the zero line. Momentum is, I mean, the, the momentum is starting to grow on the downside. So that is what you start to see. Now I have this channel also that I grab. Usually I channel on the one hour. And what it, this channel, what it's telling me is the, the trends, right? The trend already started to change here. So we are not following this channel. And that's what I, and also the gamma levels that are, uh, I think